Welcome back to my channel. My name is Aaron Babcock. Please like and subscribe if you like these videos. So today I'm just going to go over the first 10 amendments to the Bill of Rights of our Constitution. And I'm going to read off the 14th Amendment because on the East Coast, in New York, in Georgia, there's been a lot of constitutional rights that have been violated. And I think it's very important that um, you're very aware, even in Washington, D.C., that the Constitution matters and it's a living document. And it'll solve a lot of the problems that you see on TV that's dividing our country. So let's get started. So I'm on page 45. Let me give you something better to look at. This is a really good book. So Amendment 1 deals with freedom of religion, speech, and the press, rights of assembly, and petition. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people to assemble peaceably and to... Petition the government for a redress of grievances. Amendment 2. Right to bear arms. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. So, those are all very important rights that we have. So, let's get to Amendment 3. Housing of Soldiers. No soldier shall in time of peace be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner, nor in time of war, but in manner to be prescribed by law. Amendment 4. Search and arrest warrants. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue but upon a probable cause supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the th persons or things to be seized. Now, when they raided Mar-a-Lago, I think they should have considered this procedure very well and the details that happened during that bad experience. So, Amendment 5, Rights in Criminal Cases. No person shall be held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime unless or a presentment or indictment of a grand jury except in cases arising in the land or naval forces or in the militia when in actual service in time of war or public danger nor shall any person be subject for the same offense to be twice put in jeopardy of life or limb shall not be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor shall private property be taken for public use without just compensation. Amendment 6, rights to a fair trial. In all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury of the state and district wherein the crime shall have been committed, which district shall have been previously asserted by law and to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusations, to be confronted with the witnesses against him, to have compulsory process for obtaining witnesses in his favor, and so have the assistance of counsel for his defense. Amendment 7. Rights in Civil Cases. In suits at common law, where the value in controversy shall exceed $20, the right of trial by jury shall be preserved, and no fact tried by a jury shall be otherwise re-examined in any court of the United States than according to the rules of the common law. Amendment 8. Bails, fines, and punishments. Excessive bail shall not be required 
nor excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted. Well, they're fining half a billion dollars nowadays on American citizens. That's kind of scary. Amendment 9. Rights retained by the people. The enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage otherwise others retained by the people. Amendment 10. Powers retained by the states and the people. The powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution nor prohibited to the states are reserved to the states respectively or to the people. Now, here's that close-up, if I can get it. You see Amendment 8, bails, fines, and punishments. Excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted. This is very important. There is another bad law in New York called the Red Flag Law, which was in uh, Colorado and Washington State, Oregon, and California and other little states, designed by Nancy Pelosi. And I would say that Red Flag Law is a violation of the 14th Amendment, of due process, equal protection of the law. Because in that unconstitutional law, you don't have to face your accuser. You're guilty first, and you have to prove your innocence second. So, um, so I'd like to get to uh, the 14th Amendment now, and let's get started. And I apologize for the view of this. Oh, some positive history of America was Amendment 13, Abolition of slavery. Very, very good. So, Civil Rights, Amendment 14, was ratified June 13th, 1866, or proposed <laughs> on that day, ratified July 9th, 1868. Sorry about that. Section 1, all persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and the state wherein they reside. No state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges and immunities of citizens of the United States, nor shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws." So, it goes on. So, basically, that's the way to go. It's naturalization. So, when you're illegal, it doesn't apply to you. And border security is very important that we vet legal immigrants to our country versus illegal immigrants. Um, you want to call it good behavioral humans will be more legal. Bad behavior humans will be illegal. If you want to get into psychology, you could call it the behavioral problems of illegal aliens and the behavioral problems of being naturalization. They're all good concepts. So there's common sense to it. Be a natural born citizen. Learn about naturalization versus the, the 
bad experiment of the sanctuary. It has caused a lot of crime. And we have a very scary world with terrorism out there that can come to our country unvetted. And it's very serious that we don't have a World War II repeat of Pearl Harbor or a 9-11 or the Boston Bombers or any kind of sieges like Bunker Hill or Alamo or Benghazi or Black Hawk Down style sieges. We don't want any of that stuff. So it's very important to be legal, law-abiding, and free of these criminals. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe, and we will get move on to better and great subjects to talk about. But uh, law is always stern, bold, and noble. Thank you very much. Take care, and God bless.